just about 30 seconds out here you can see compared to the last race this right side is very crowded very crowded Goombay smash here is at most risk for being locked out I think they'll be okay though Saba Pati working the middle and uh, the winner of the last race Robert Eastman all the way down the pin which is where they started the last race so Robert Eastman doesn't seem to mind going left but up here we've got Goombay smash in Storm Vogel's bad air so Goombay in a little bit of a tough spot x-ray x-ray One one one. Come here, over. So we've got, I think, four boats over. Sorry about the uh, shaky cam there. I think we got about four boats over. Yep, here they come. What do you have? Storm Vogel and Envy scooters. Okay, so Envy, Robertissima, Storm Vogel. And Torpione, so the winner of the last race over early, and they were pushing that pin, so that's going to be very costly. And and unfortunately, that sounds like the Argo, right? Envy. Envy. Oh, okay. So there you go. There's your start. Now you know. Wind has stayed more or less the same. It's been moving around a little bit right or left, but um, nobody really working the right. Just a couple boats working the right, and those were the, the, the late boats. So. Other than Dougie Douglas. Trying something a little bit different here. This is the second leg of race two, the Melvis 32 World Championship. And we're just gonna give you a little, a little ripping along action. Look at him go, this is Argo. Well, look at that lead after just one leg. Jason Carroll, the world champion, taking it down. Look at him run. Big Chuck Norris on the winch there. And there they go. So Argo with a lovely lead just behind him is Hedgehog. Alec Cutler, Bermuda chasing down the US boys from the Northeast. And the big lips are Deneen Demarcus's. that's Groovadershi. She'll be in about fifth place. And uh, I'm trying to fit Goombay Smash. We saw how hard right Dougie Douglas went. So uh, uh, they'll be in third place there. Mama Who's 199? That's Mama Ayudo. It's down to Lourdes going really slow. They're kind of in bad air down there. Look at Deneen go. Oh, yeah. Katie, let me know when you're going to switch and sw swing and I'll duck. Samba Pati's down here trying to make a pass on Mama Ayuto. Here comes Inga from Sweden. And Volpe and Stig. And uh, plenty of waves out here. Robertissima has caught only about two boats uh, on that beat after being over early. So zero to hero to zero to hero. We'll see it all week. But at the moment, Jason Carroll doing the job. Talk about zero to hero, uh, seventh place, not a zero obviously, but seventh place in the first race. And look at this lead for Jason Carroll and the Argonauts. Brilliant work. Let's watch the drop. Here they go. Preload the, the pull down line, blow the halyard, suck it through. See the big boys pulling on that. There he goes with one bow length to spare and nice clean rounding. Just the kind of conservative you want to see with that kind of lead, but uh, certainly not taking it easy by any stretch. And we'll head out to this left side. So um, we are 47 seconds in, about a minute and 20 second lead for Argo, which is pretty goddamn impressive, excuse my language, but uh, just don't see that that very long. Goombay Smash leads this next group. So Dougie Douglas sailed around a couple boats there. So after a DNF in the first race, Dougie with a nice second place running into this bottom mark here. We've got two legs left in this race. 
can see, there you go. Preload the takedown line, load the halyards, suck it all in. Pretty early for Dougie. Whoa. Pretty early drop there. But maybe he's uh, being a little bit conservative uh, considering his uh, mishap on the first race. We got choppers up. We got, I hear drones. There's a drone right there. Comes Gruvederci for the jibe. Great to see Flavio Favini, the Italian superstar sailor, back uh, on the uh, on the water after a horrible accident a couple years ago. So great to see him. Alec Cutler coming around on the left. Here comes the Stig. Samba Pati again, uh, outside the money. And we're gonna get make our way back up to the top mark and give you two more legs of this uh, before the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Folks, this is the last mark of the day. Day one of the Melgus 32 World Championship. You can see the water change here. And I'm pointing this out because you can also see maybe some of the seaweed. We're right on the edge of the reef. And, and this is um, the Miami Reef here drops off from, you know, 20 feet or so to uh, over 500. Just as the water turns blue out there. And, and that's why the lump is a little bit bigger here than it is at the start. And uh, there's a little bit of local Miami knowledge for you. There's also more current out here, but it's, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. What's even more gorgeous for Jason Carroll and the Argo team is this lead. They're rounding at 40 seconds. Let's kind of just count here and see how long it takes if you want. Don't mind staying with me. Nice, easy hoist, no stress. Jason very cool and calm at the back of the boat. And that's how you take a lead and go and win a race. Now, right behind it is plenty jacked up. So Mama Ayuto doing a nice job there, just staying right on top of Ingo. Is that, no, who's that? Right on top of Swing. And they'll run that right into the, into the ley line here. So interestingly, Dougie Douglas, who had that nice second place lead over uh, the rest of those boats, he got passed by all three of these boats, Mama Ayuto, Swing, and uh, Hedgehog. And here, look at the weeds here. No jellies though, Petey. These boats do have a kelp cutter. And they use them quite a bit. This is the highway and again, you know, even though uh, uh, Carol's got that huge lead, look at how tight it is here from second to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Second to eleven is all within a boat length or two of each other. Mama Yuto, here they go. And Danine DeMarcus, third place. Oh yeah. Love to see a, a female skipper doing so well in a, such an athletic boat. Uh oh, Neeners, get it down, Neeners, get it down, Neeners. Oh, got it. Puff on is what's going on. A big puff right there, and, a, and I think maybe a header is what's got all these boats a little messed up. Here we go with another hoist, the Stig. Coming around just behind, you see where he's got the drone for us, Petey? Yeah. The Stig coming just behind Goombe. <laughs> Volpe's here, but they're gonna probably have to do a circle maybe, no? Looks like not. And Samba coming around in, uh, Four, five, six, seventh. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. So Volpe is doing their circle here, and there they go. Delta clawing their way back into the fleet. So I think Vol Volpe might have fouled Samba on that one. And here's Richard Yorns and Inga, also fairly deep. Robert Tissima has only caught four boats. That gives you an idea how tough this fleet is. They've had the whole the whole uh, race to catch boats, and uh, with a crew that is proven really good at catching boats, and they just couldn't, just haven't been able to really catch anybody. 
Envy scooters staying up out of the bottom of the uh, barrel. And uh, bam, got a kite. I think we'll head to the finish. Well, thank you for following us this long, folks. A little shout out to our friends on the West Coast, Willem Van Way and you from San Diego, boys and girls, watching all the action here. Sorry that everyone couldn't make it, but you do miss these days. Just ripping along at 20 knots, all your friends packed in the back of the bus with you. And Jason Carroll takes what might be a two minute lead over the fleet to his first win at this 2014 World Championship. And I don't even, I mean, I, who's next? <laughs> I think I might just uh, stop this and put this up on the, on the web. Because we got an awful long time until the next ones are in. But uh, a fabulous job from Jason and his team, Cameron Appleton, uh, Flipper Werheim, Chuck, Chuck Norris, Westy Barlow, Westy Barlow Mike Kushner, Mike Kushner Graham Landy and Cameron Appleton. A great job from those boys and of course, you know, the coach, team boss, Buzz. Buzz. rib action, fix everything, and the man that really made it all possible, the guy who taught Jason Carroll to sail, Buzz Carroll. You happy? All I had to do was put a tiller in one hand and a sheet in the other. That's all I did. A tiller in one hand and a sheet in the other. Good advice from a, from a proud papa.